Hi, if you're using OneNote for sales management, you'll already know what a great application OneNote is. So today we're going to show you how we create sales playbooks using OneNote for our clients. Hopefully at this point you can see my screen and you can see we're already in Microsoft OneNote and here's an example of a template sales playbook that we use. Uh, if you're not familiar with OneNote, what I would describe this as along the top would be your chapters of your book and down the left hand side would be the pages within the chapter. So starting from the top left, uh, the first chapter is domain knowledge and it's really important that salespeople uh, are able to deliver value when they're having conversations with customers and uh, domain knowledge is about knowing the industry, uh, being up to date with statistics, with facts, with industry trends. Uh, it's really about being able to deliver value in every conversation. Next up would be your company information and simple as it sounds, this would be the, the history of your company, leadership team, your values and mission. And this is a really great tool if you're onboarding new salespeople uh, and helps them get up to speed as quickly as possible. Uh, working our way down the left hand side of the pages, you've got your core products and services. F for our business that would be sales training, uh, sales coaching, consulting and uh, sales growth. Next up is where you would insert your colleagues whether they be in, uh, by department, sales, marketing, customer service, etc. And moving along would be your sales tools. And in here you would have uh, maybe training videos and training instructions, how, how to use your CRM, how to use any marketing automation tools, uh, sales playbooks, uh, internal communication tools like Yammer, for example, or MS Teams. Next up, if you're using OneNote for sales management, is the section on our clients. And this is where you would uh, put information on the different types of clients that your organization would sell to, to give the salespeople an idea of uh, who they should be targeting. In this example, we've categorized them under different animal names. It's just to make it a little bit different and a little bit more interesting. Moving on. Uh, OneNote is a great place uh, for putting in your sales process and in here this is where you would customize it uh, for your own organization and it's really to create a step-by-step -step guide which is really useful if you've got new people coming into the organization and you're onboarding them. Next up would be our sales plays and you can see sales plays is everything from your door opener, how you would uh, I teach your salespeople to handle stalls and objections with the most common ones here, how you're going to rebut them and what the proof points would be uh, to validate those rebuttals. Moving down, things like questioning skills. Uh, and pre you know, This section here, you'd put your presentations and your pricing. Next up is competition. Here we use what we call sales battle cards and these are fantastic tools to put information on our competitors uh, to, to document the competitor's sales strategy and more importantly, how we're going to win when we are competing against our competitors. Moving along, we have a content and content is simply any and any and all the media, the different types of media that your salespeople will need to execute the sales. So, you know, we've got examples down here, flyers, product sheets, tech specifications, case studies, testimonials, uh, you know, I'm sure you know. Next, you know, using OneNote for sales management, you'll need to know KPIs, really, really important thing. Here's an example of the uh, master KPIs. And from that, we encourage our salespeople to create uh, personal sales scorecards based on the what we would describe as the high value areas of sales, which are finding, closing and growing. We've also got to-do lists so that uh, we're trying to keep our team productive. Next up is learning. Uh, and again, you've got onboarding assessments, uh, pre-coaching checklists, uh, training planners for your team. Uh, moving down, we have different competencies. And here's an example of a competency if you're delivering training uh, online and Moving down, we've got personal learning plans for each salesperson and obviously coaching worksheets for each salesperson. These would typically be password protected, 
so that uh, you know we maintain the confidentiality uh, aspect of that. And last up is admin. So using sales uh, one note for using one note for sales management, you're going to have to hold sales meetings. And if you're already familiar, you'll know that it's possible from inside OneNote to record meetings. Uh, and that's a great tool if you've got salespeople who are off sick, salespeople who are on holiday, and you need them to uh, catch up before the next meeting. Uh, and obviously in this area here, we can add compensation expenses and uh, you know, any other thing admin related for your business. That's it. Uh, as I said, using OneNote for sales management is an absolute fantastic tool. Uh, we love it here at Closers. If you've got any questions, uh, please comment below and please uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.